Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to this week's live, no it's not live, <laughs> video recorded episode of the official podcast, um, we're all together. Woo! Something we've never fucking done before. Very exciting. Yeah. We got to ruin my poker table for it. <laughs> it looks good though. It I feel so like a cool. Bond villain. Yeah, it, don't, it honestly does look like Bond villains gathering around like poolside with like strippers and shit yeah. around it while they come up with a plan for Especially, Mr. Bond. Especially uh, since we look underwater on the film <laughs> because we oh, yeah, the waves. That. Don't call attention to it. Maybe no one will notice. <laughs> yeah, you know that. <laughs> this is the internet. Everyone's going to notice in the first two minutes. Put a VCR effect on it. Mm. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, just lower the quality. That should work. <laughs> Make it look like a bootleg like 80s Bond movie. <laughs> One uh, that we found. Jackson just stares at the lens when he talks to us. <laughs> what do I need to do? You said I, the I like it because it replicates when we're recording our own audio and can't see each other. Yeah. <laughs> Staring blankly at the computer screen. And right. it makes you at home feel like you're part of this. We're talking to you. <laughs> I usually still do shit. I just kick my legs up. Yeah, 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 that's true. I don't usually do anything. I literally sit there staring at the Discord. I open tabs in Firefox and then just close them again. <laughs> <laughs> like every just time, just have to click. I yeah. Just, yeah, like I, I open a tab, I go to a website, and then I just close it, mm. just to be doing something with my hands. I have the Reddit homepage open. That's about it. Yeah, just crazy cool. lazy fuck. I don't even <laughs> do that anymore because my laptop will crash <laughs> if I use too much memory. Mm. Weren't you gonna buy an actual usable laptop now that you're here? You did. Oh, yeah, but I didn't. He did not. <laughs> I didn't mean to start a rumor. Breaking news. The Don't. shipping would have been too late, plus I don't really want to gamble because I think I would have to declare it at customs. Yeah, you would. Well, yeah, but why the shipping? Wouldn't you just take it with you here? No, that's what I'm saying, but it would be shipped here too late. It's at like five to seven business days to ship or some shit. Oh. So I don't want to risk it because I'm leaving oh. in ten days. Can't you just go to so Best Buy? Three days. Get a... Mm-hmm. This is boring. <laughs> no one wants to know my shopping list. All right, let's talk about our experience at yeah, the, the Comic trip. Con. Yeah, the trip. Jesus, not yeah. my fucking. Start with the trip. What? Rewind it from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. We're not going in Jack order or JK. No, start with Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're just, it's just going to be me and Kai, right? Well, Kaya yeah. got here yeah, first. JK. If we want to tell the whole experience, when we want yeah, to start with let's Kaya. Start with that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Well, you see, I I did my laundry. But I didn't have enough time to dry it because that's that was the one day that it, it, Germany decided to have just cold, rainy weather. So it, when I put my clothes in my luggage, they were all damp. <laughs> and I knew the moment I land here, it's going to smell like ass if I even get to land here. So I'm on the plane. I don't feel like telling that. that no, story for this. He told time. this story. So the amount of times he's told this fucking I know. story. It's like the boardwalk burgers <laughs> joke. I know. Tampa. Now. But it's pivotal to my life now because it actually made me afraid of flying now. <laughs> I'm scared. Tell, tell the story. Thank you. He's on the team. Rational. Tell the story. Tell the story. God damn it! It's not an exciting story. So I've flown a lot of times in my life, but this is the one time that actually knocked some fear into me. So I was. <laughs> On the plane and there's turbulence. This is the 10 hour flight or 10, 11 something <coughs> hour flight from Frankfurt to Tampa. Mm-hmm. And there's turbulence and these fucking planes, how much does a plane cost to build? 500 million. You looked that up? No, he just threw it out there. No, no, no. Dreamliners cost about 550 million. And those are the most recent modern. It, cost, it could cost two billion dollars. Okay, when turbulence yeah. hit that piece of shit, it'll still rattle the whole cabin. I don't know why. Like, imagine if you were in a house and somebody sneezes, Charlie, and your whole table just <laughs> vibrates. You go like, who the fuck made this table? <laughs> Why'd you single me out? I've been on planes. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah. No, I'm just Fucking idiot. Design. You don't know what people sneezing sounds like. <laughs> I don't know. I just assume you've never flown. I've never flown before. Have you told this part of the story where it actually dropped? He was That's getting to the... Yeah. Cl- you yeah. spoiled it. <laughs> Did you get well, to the good part? Well, go, go. I've never been on a... No, what I'm saying is... Brace yourself for this. You kind of lose confidence already when there's a little bit of turbulence and everything is shaking around, but you're like, ah, eh, you know, that's normal, right? Mm-hmm. And you you look down the hallway, like, at the flight crew. That's what I did. I, I was sitting... <laughs> did they look at you with fear in your eyes? That's what I was trying to look, <laughs> see. Like, I was leaning into the, into the corridor and see, like, are they scared? Should I be scared? <laughs> they were fine until the plane just fucking dropped for a whole second. What? And this wasn't like... Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> well, and this wasn't like I didn't see the that plane coming. is slowly <laughs> descending and you feel the blood rush up into your balls kind of descending. This was literally the engine stopped 
the plane just... Mm-hmm. <laughs> and in that one split second, everybody started screaming and screeching, throwing their hands up. Everybody woke up, the few people who were already asleep. Ah! <laughs> and that's when I realized... I've nothing. I've done nothing with my life. That's it. If I die there, that's it. That's a that's a feeling I've never had before. You know that death feel. You know when you're like nervous of shit, you get yeah, 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 yeah. nauseous, yeah, butterflies. Yeah. yeah, but that happens before, like an hour and a half before. Maybe if you're gonna take a pivotal exam, that's gonna you go determine your life. Or yeah. you feel like you're getting like picked up off the ground at all times. Yeah, you yeah. Feel so like light. genuine yeah. fear. Like you yeah. feel sick. It could happen days before. But this is a new experience I've never had, which was. This is it. I don't even know how else to describe it, the feeling of this is it. I'm dying. That's so somber. <laughs> that's really yeah, depressing. Is. This is sad. it. That's I didn't what, know what else to think. Like, <gasps> it's happening. This is it. That's what people and say when they say, like, my life flashed before my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get that experience? I guess. No, Did- it didn't flash. I just, all I... That's it. And <laughs> then it stabilized. We were all kind of... Whoa. So basically, when your life flashed the kids your were, eyes, it wasn't a slideshow, it was just a single <laughs> photo. It was a single wasn't photo a slideshow, it was just this compressed little burst of uh, the collective experience of your life, and you going, this ain't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> this won't do. This won't I'm not, do. I'm not getting into heaven like this. No, 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 I'm not getting anywhere like this. Like, I'm gonna die. That's it. Like, they're gonna find my laptop, and I'm gonna be embarrassed for all the shit that's on it. That's yeah. it. And then, yeah. I looked at the flight crew again. They were kind of, I don't know. They didn't have any expression on their face. And then they did damage control on the Intercom. speakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, well, you see, sometimes there is turbulence. There's usually nothing to worry about. And it's not dangerous. As you might have noticed, we just experienced the loss of altitude, is what they call it. <laughs> Which was a nice euphemism for we just fucking dropped like a dead fish that somebody threw into the trash can for a second. <laughs> it's super weird. I don't understand how it could do that. How it could actually drop that fast because Dude, planes they, are meant to glide. They went yeah. through a what was turbulence. It? Yeah. Well, well, it's well, not well, just an air pocket, yeah, right? Something. It's not yeah. just you dropping. It's like literal like clouds hitting the plane. Yeah. That's why yeah. it shakes so crazy. So yeah, I know what turbulence Well, what well, you got to remember is the plane is fucking huge. So even yeah. if it itself just tips at a decent angle, that's going to feel like hot shit to everyone. No, no. So, I, yeah. I've, I've experienced turbulence before, yeah. but it's usually just been like rocking, you know? Kind yeah, of like rocking, shaking. but... You know, I mean, it does a slight up and down too. This was just a monster down. So was mm-hmm. uh, there must have been like air pressure on top pushing I have, down. I don't or know. something. I don't know yeah. the fucking math of it. I don't know. I just felt like <laughs> if imagine I had somebody experience what you experienced, I would have looked the fuck into it because I would have thought hey, this <laughs> <laughs> this morning, let me just buy Wi Fi on this flight real quick and see if I die. <laughs> I would have been terrified. And then that. I was dude, I was goddamn tense. I was like uh, like grabbing my seat like ten more hours. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that was not even that far yes. into the flight? No, he said it was at the beginning. Oh. Yeah, there was like almost 20 minutes into the flight and that's when it, I got just, I'm ruined for Maybe it was now. Turkish airspace and like a bomb went off or something. <laughs> it was Germany. <laughs> Maybe they were firing at Turkey. <laughs> they knew you were coming. Taking down the spy plane. <laughs> dude, I, I, I was fucked up. I was scared as hell. Oh, and dude. then, okay, so that journey was over and then there was the landing, of course, which is also always scary. When they bring mm-hmm. out the, the wheels... Yeah. And, and it always sounds like somebody's tearing the goddamn thing apart. It's like <laughs> you overhear over hate everything. That. Yeah, I hate that. It's, sound. So it's like creepy. a it's like a transformer getting ex- blown up. It's fucking. It disgusting. sounds like a Michael it's Bay movie. Disgusting. It's a goddamn horrible. But you know, this is kind of normal. If I'm, I don't want to embarrass myself by asking the cabin crew if that noise was normal. I don't want to. Yeah, like you don't want to be that guy. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, that sounds so creepy. Yeah, holy. Wait, what well, was it when the landing gear comes out? Yeah, I've never heard that before. How do you not? Hear? It's so loud. The... He was also like oh. delusional. You had a thirty-five yeah, hour you flight. Yeah. Yeah. No, but even I'm gonna tell that gonna story. To it, about it's gonna delusion. do it on short flights, clearly. Well, yeah, it's well, landing gear. Yeah, yeah, but I don't I've know. never heard it before. Pay attention. Right at when you're about to land, they bring out the landing gear. It's fucked up. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> fuck that. I'd rather they didn't. <laughs> Land in water, please. <laughs> well, that's that. Isn't that worse? Isn't water landing way, way well, yeah, worse? Yeah, because the water completely well, yeah, stops. It's yeah, not, yeah, it's yeah. not supposed to be your first choice. That's what the guy <laughs> who landed in the Hudson. Yeah, the uh, Sully. Sully. Here, Sully. Yeah. yeah, that dude's a fucking hero, by the way. But anyway, okay, so I land, and then and next is customs. So customs for those of you who've never traveled abroad, 
or I don't know if you Americans have to go through customs. We don't go through no, customs. no, not for yeah. domestic. So if you're no. for foreigner, you have to go through customs unless you're like a rich boy or something. But for us, if you especially if it's your first time, you have to go through customs, which means you have to show your passport, ID. You have to declare any food you have on the plane. Like if it's some endangered yeah. shit, like if they catch you with like the wrong kind of prunes, you're fucked. Yeah, it's like what are the right books? kind you of get, prunes? <laughs> I have no fucking. You get idea. denied entry and you basically get yeah. put on the plane back. Yeah. But you have to pay. For you it. pay it's a little anything. Like they, it could be a knife that I could have bought you guys as a gift, and he could look at it like, "Oh, this is a leather handle. What leather is this?" And if I say like jaguar, be fine. But if I said leopard, I could go to jail. Or I love shit. how out of the knife he has a problem with the handle. <laughs> <laughs> that too, but. You get the point, right? It's yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing it's you wouldn't consider. The things to be you the don't problem. think about, right? Yeah. yeah. Like they have a weird tax on like seafood, and you're like, oh, I brought some sushi. It's like, oh, well, that's exactly. fucking illegal because it has this fish in it. Or exactly. Some, some seafood yeah. is absolutely very specific. illegal. Specific. And arbitrary yeah. almost as well. So, point is, I declared the three gummy bears I brought Tiana. <laughs> <laughs> there were only three in the packet? Three packs. No. Yeah, they're oh, very three expensive. Packs, but I was so nervous, I just wrote three gummy bears <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> three individual gummy bears. Each packaged in their own, like, little UPS <laughs> zip locked. Yeah. <laughs> so I go through customs, it's like a one hour line, and I'm in a machine. It's supposed to be the self checkout type of thing. And I put my passport on it, which is this electronic passport or whatever it's called, and it tells me, fuck off. You're not getting in. <laughs> It, it says I violated some sort of a rule, like the six-month rule, because a passport must be valid for more than six months. So at that point, I'm super scared. Like, my heart is at my mouth yeah, again. Yeah. I'm fucking tired. And now I have this feeling like they're not going to let me in. I'm not going to Comic-Con. I'm not seeing my friends. I'm going to have to, like, sit here, buy a ticket, and go back and fucking shame. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, there's a communication blackout between me and these guys because... Yeah. I don't know what the fuck Comic-Con's they do. I don't know. They like, like it's a black side base. Comic. Well, this is <laughs> this customs. This customs. Customs yeah. is like customs, a black yeah. side where like they they don't allow any communication. If you're getting deported, they don't want anyone to know. <laughs> pretty much. It's literally radar jam. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was or what, but anyway, I wasn't getting any signal. Plus, phones and cameras are forbidden down there, so I didn't want to like keep my phone in my hand trying to connect because I was scared somebody would yell at me and like throw me in a cell. But then I had to stand in another line, and then I finally see an officer, an actual, I don't know what they are, like C- CBS? Customs, Customs and Border Board Patrol? of Department or something. Some yeah, shit. CBP or yeah. something. He was super duper nice, he laughed in my face, he said, ah, that's fine. Let's see, when, when does your passport expire? That's, I can give you 45 days. And you looked at what I declared, and he saw like three gummy bears, and he just giggled at me. I was like, yeah, you didn't have to do that. And then he that's let so me sweet. through. Yeah, that's, uh, that's so wholesome. And then as you walked he away, was he was like, nice. take him down. <laughs> <laughs> He's here. <laughs> the laundry's in the basket. He has the bears. I repeat, he has the bears. <laughs> <laughs> the German fugitive. <laughs> that's the plot of the next Taken movie. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but no, I'm not gonna give them shit for that. Like the customs officers, no, all nice. of them were super duper super nice. nice. Yeah. So I go through, I pick up my luggage, I meet these guys, I, I hug them, and then I meet the heat of Tampa. And the sky was just, the sky was this disgusting <laughs> hue of, like if you drank something blue colored and then threw up, it was like blue reddish, but n- it, you, it was one color. It was warm. It was yeah. a solid color, it looked like a shitty GTA skybox. And it was so goddamn humid. I think the Other first thing you said to us when we left the airport was, your sky looks like you just used a cheat in Grand Theft yep. Auto. Yeah. yeah. The exact first thing. I didn't know what the phrase. fuck hit me. I thought we were like in some sort of a fucked up airlock where they just have air dryers blowing in your face or something. I didn't understand we were outside. <laughs> I didn't get that. That was it. Long. Well, you're from, you. you're from like a similar climate. Yeah. I must have landed on the worst day possible. I don't know what the humidity was, but... It was rough. It rained. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You came during a terrible week. I mean, you you guys are here, unfortunately, during the worst possible time. It is the you hottest, know. the muggiest, the worst that it gets. That's what I like to hear. And then for all other nine months outside of this, it's very nice. Yeah. But for this time, it's just unpleasant and not good. I mean, no one likes it. But yeah, and then we and the guys, we, we went to grab a bite, and that mm-hmm. was fine. A brick house. Yeah. And then to wrap up his entire saga, his clothes smelled like complete shit. <laughs> they oh, yeah. didn't smell as bad as I thought they would, to yeah. be fair. It smelled like a little piece of turkey came home with him. Yeah. 
It was like caked in, like you yeah. pressed it in before you got on the plane. It was still damp, yeah, absolutely. The socks and everything, but thankfully, <laughs> Tiana was a sweetheart. She evacuated her own laundry, so I could immediately. <laughs> I'm glad you added to that sentence, and not just she evacuated. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just aborted mission on the previous laundry to throw his shit in there with the fucking biohazard symbol. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's my journey here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a plane ride here. And so then, before you jump into yours, what's the weather like in Australia during the summer? Because you said it's similar. Oh, it's super hot in Australia. Probably hotter than here, honestly. It's like... It, it also suffers from the same humid temperature where it just feels like you're constantly suffocating. Mm -hmm. And... It's just, as well as that, when you're outside, the sun is just beaming in you from every angle. So it's like 40 degrees. It's like 110 Fahrenheit. 110? No, a bit lower. I don't know. I don't know. I think Because that's hotter than high. here. Well, yeah. yeah it's significantly. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, this is pretty comparable anyway. It's like pretty normal for me. Okay. Um, yeah, so the flight... The, I, I travelled over here from Australia and we went to New Zealand first and then had about a four-hour layover, which is where we just sit in the fucking airport. It's like it's basically worse than being on the flight sometimes when you're just sitting in an airport. It's purgatory, yeah. 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 And then you jump on another flight. That's the long one from, from Auckland, New Zealand to Houston, Texas, and that's 14 hours, and that is hell. Sitting on a fucking plane for 14 hours is honestly <laughs> the worst experience that I've I've ever had. And I'm, I'm not a I'm not a plane person, I'm like you. Yeah. I hate planes. They fucking suck. Yeah. It's just being jammed into like a cell. I would rather be put into a cell than be on a, yeah. on a plane yeah. flight. I'd it rather really. do 24, 23 hours of solitary confinement then. It's, it's awful. Sitting next to people that you don't want to sit next to being served prison food, basically. And it just like constantly being in fear that you're about to drop out of the sky since you're in a fucking metal <laughs> tube. Finally, people are understanding. God. No, it's just it's yeah. Like, I had to literally drop to understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, but feel so vindicated. And then I then I had another layover in Houston. It, I didn't go through anything mm. similar to Kaya. No, like no sudden. Uh, you had a drops. good time. <laughs> yeah, a near death experience. Yeah, I, I didn't have any of that shit. But it was just super long, 35 hours in the sky or airports, shitty airports. Um, and then I arrived here in Tampa and I was just completely dead. Then <laughs> people don't real. I'll let you finish, but people don't realize the meta shit around air travel. People go like, oh, it's either a 12 hour drive or two hours with the plane. Yeah, that means you have to drive to the airport. That's an hour sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah. depending on where you yeah. live. You have to be two hours... You have to be there two hours before your flight if you're flying yeah. international. So that's already three hours. Plus two off the flight, that's five. Plus the one hour to go home. So that's like six hours. So it, when people tell if flights are faster, they're fucking lying to the, your face. The one that I think is fucking stupid is there are plenty of flights from Miami to here. And that's a five-hour drive. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the flight is still an hour. Mm-hmm. So if you factor in having to get there early, security, mm -hmm. get off all this shit, yeah, all that shit, how much time are you saving? Half an hour for and it, God knows. It's not, not ten, It's not at all because yeah. gas well, money is probably a fifth of that. Also, it's driving five hours in comfort, basically. Like you're in mm -hmm. air-conditioned comfort. No one else is annoying you. You can stop at like service stations or restaurants and get food or whatever. You can travel with who you want to it travel. It makes sense right? the longer yeah. the distance is. Of course. Like, well, obviously, you can't drive over an ocean, so we had... That's why didn't even across here? America, yeah. like from one end of America to the other, the plane would still be fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Much faster, but... A short distance, like a two-hour flight, you're probably better off just driving. I mean, for destination travel, I would never drive across America. For fun or for a road trip, absolutely. Yeah. But if I had to go to California, like had to, for a reason, I would fly there, absolutely. So yeah, yeah. Unless, of course, you, you can like afford first class or something. Yeah. Like, uh, skip every line. Or if you can buy your own fucking plane. Like, nah, that's yeah. a yeah. Even part. Care. People don't realize the part that when you fly economy... Mm -hmm. That's what that two-hour rule is about, that you have to be there beforehand. Mm -hmm. Is basically, it's like them babying you. They're basically telling you, listen, you dumb fuck, you're going to need two hours to just get through security. Mm -hmm. yeah. But sometimes if you're not there yeah. two hours beforehand, they actually reserve the right to resell your seat. That's also true. I heard that. Yeah. But That's I mean, fucked up. They do it anyway. They're overbook. Yeah. yeah. It's like how they make money. Absolutely. Yeah. They beat a man up, up for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah Rest in Asian peace, Asian man. <laughs> Fucked up. To, I mean, to be fair, because their security is so stingy and oh, shit and crammed, it does occasionally take that long, but 
It's fucking. It's, it's still the security shit. sucks ass too. You know oh, what they garbage. do with the laptops is like when you have a laptop in your case. Is there a laptop in this? Yeah, it's a fucking laptop. You have to take it out. Put you it have on to take top. it out. Yeah. yeah, and then you have to show it works. What's yeah. your plan? What? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute! I've never I, had, I, had that. I've had that. Never had that. So you have to open the case, right? right take out, out your just like we have to open this ad. He's like for Robin Hood. No, no, you have to take out your laptop. You have to put it in a different case. You know the cases that they sent through the X-ray machine. Mm-hmm. Put it in there along with any other electronics you have. And then sometimes some airports do this. Not all. They didn't mm-hmm. do it to me at Tampa, but in Germany they always do it. They go open it real quick. You just have to show it works like this. I, so the unlocking screen shows. That's all they want to see. He's like, he's like, wow. open it up. Win a, win a game and play on those battlegrounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just want. You, you can't get on the flight. They just the want to see. As you're going. Is this an actual laptop or a bomb? I guess. But then they, I always think like, what have you gained if it is a bomb and that just blows it up? They yeah. they never. I've never done that. And actually, it's been fucking inconsistent with me. When I left from Fort Lauderdale, they did the whole. All right, laptop back. Take the laptop out. Put it on top. This and that. And then when I went to Chicago on the way back, I started doing that and they started yelling like, don't take it out, just leave it in, you're holding up the line. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> like, there's no rules. They all, Everyone just does what they want. They there's a big difference rules. between international and domestic. I've had, to, I've had to do that before too, though. I've had to take my laptop maybe, out and maybe turn it, it on. on. I've never had to turn it on, I've had to take it out. I haven't I've had to, to like speed on. run a video game or something to prove that it works, but I have had to turn it it's on. It's a real goddamn hassle. But what isn't a hassle is Robin Hood. <laughs> what is Robin Hood? Well, yeah. Robin Hood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptos all commission free. They like strive this. to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy. Non intimidating way for stock market newcomers to invest for the first time with true confidence and a simple, intuitive, clear design with data presented in an easy to digest way. Jackson, you have it on your phone. Why don't you tell them? the values of robin hood so yeah the values of the robin hood app there's a, a low cost no commission fees other brokerages charge up to ten dollars for every trade but robin hood doesn't charge that or any other commission fees trade stocks and you get to keep all of your profit so that's pretty cool that is pretty cool that's pretty cool how can they get it so what robin, can they get from us robin hood is giving our listeners a free stock like apple ford or wait they're giving free stock that's pretty fucking sweet <laughs> Jesus, <Honestly. that's> awesome. <laughs> What a yeah. deal. That kicks ass. Yeah, so go get free yeah. Apple No, that stock kicks right ass. I, like I don't that. have to gamble on the black market anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go build your portfolio by signing up at official.robinhood.com. Oh, yeah. oh. That's official.robinhood.com. It, it, it's free. Go do it. They honestly. put us get your first. first stock. That's yeah. so nice of them. Fuck yeah. Official.robinhood.com. Yeah, go, okay. Apple go just surpassed a trillion dollars. Really? Thanks to Robin Hood. Did they? Not necessarily. <laughs> they did, yeah. Did they really? Like 650 now. billion just what? like last week. Did they? Billion. They used to be. Now they're the first company that surprised a trillion dollars in really? value. I'm surprised. I haven't it's... heard much about Apple at all recently. Well, they're going to get bought by Bezos like tomorrow. He's going to look like, <laughs> yeah, give me that. I want it. I'll turn it into a hentai streaming platform. <laughs> a week later, I got bored of it. I closed it. <laughs> <laughs> I folded it. <laughs> Before we move on to rich people who are envious of, I interrupted Jackson. I really want to take the shirt off. Why am I the only one sweating? Is your AC on? Yeah. It it is hot. To sum sum up the story, basically, we got back here (laughs) and I pounded eight shots. Oh, yeah. So I don't know how many shots I I took, but I I got drunk. Um, Me and Kai did. And then... I was fine. We We played ping pong for a bit and I slipped over and cracked my head. You're skipping a step. You cracked your spine, and then that buckled your body cavity so that you slammed your head Honestly, I in one smooth it. movement. All I remember is as I was falling, I was also laughing because I knew what was about to happen. <laughs> My life's over. Ha ha ha. That was his, that was his near-death experience. <laughs> yeah, I, we we oh. all had... Well, we both had near-death experiences traveling. So it, it was such a great first like physical impression of you. Yeah. You just show up, and then as soon as we start hanging out having fun, you just almost die. It was <laughs> like, some, kill like some like Charlie like, Chaplin like, slapstick yeah. humor. It's like you did it intentionally to just... Yeah. Make us giggle make friends. Little... Yeah. yeah. This will show him. He was <laughs> why I dropped the plane so I'd have a joke. <laughs> he was rehearsing it in front of his mirror back at home, just falling over yeah. into his counter. <laughs> I can take this fall. I can take it. <laughs> Building up his, his 
<laughs> calluses on his skull. He went to stunt camp. <laughs> he met like a fucking fight so coordinator. That night, I also... I'm goading Jackson into taking shots. <laughs> of course you are. And we're all matching him, and he brought us shot glasses, which is, at that point, you're just asking for it. Oh, all, yes, I was asking I'm making you taking. Sh- I'm making you take shots, and you're like, oh, I really don't want to do these. Also, here's shot glasses. <laughs> like a dumbass. <laughs> And then I spike his water. <laughs> what a friend. He, he got a he got an unopened water bottle. What he didn't know it was op- opened and it was spiked as well. And yeah, tell tell us about the next day, Jackson. How did you feel when you uh, woke up? Well I didn't wake up for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like the next 26 hours the room did not stop fucking spinning. If you've ever been hungover with that kind of spinning motion, it just kind of like adds on to the feeling of you dying, basically. Helplessness. I felt, yeah, yeah, I felt like I was going to die, but then Andrew yeah. came to the rescue. With, with fucking Pedialyte. Pedialyte. Tell know. him about Pedialyte, Andrew. We're not sponsored. Tell him about Pedialyte, Andrew. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Pedialyte. Where can they go to get it? Fucking God. CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, Target, Kmart. Kmart doesn't exist. Get Pedialyte in your fucking pharmacy aisle. It is a children's anti-nausea and diarrhea drink. And it, it just gives you it, electrolytes. It's, it's like... It's more, super Gatorade. Yeah. It's yeah. basically super Gatorade, it, but it works. It fixed, yeah, it we, um, we can speak from experience. We, we went on a fucking bender at the bars at a nice, fun celebration of this man's birthday. That's right. Uh, I pounded a bottle of Pedialyte before bed. I woke up. I felt perfectly fine. Same. Honestly, perfectly Same. fine. It's a little, like, more dense... Con- more concentrated Gatorade, but we are up for the highest bidder. Oh yeah, Pedialyte if you're well, watching, sure, please. Sure it is, but yeah, Pedialyte, I do think it helps. But it does. I still had that disgusting food sitting in my stomach. You can't do, much about, you can't, you can't can't do much about your stomach, that's, that's just gonna happen. I know, yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. But, but like, I wasn't achy, I wasn't nauseous, yeah, I wasn't yeah. sweating, I wasn't anything, I just felt great. Yeah. I felt like I had a little upset tummy. That was it. Yeah. yeah. But Jackson didn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, that, not the other night. Not the first night. Yeah, no. Jackson was absolutely fucking just... I had I had no aid. Nothing. <laughs> it was concussed, hungover, and yet... I was in a foreign, a foreign country. I had just met three new friends, basically. All of a sudden, time. you don't know where yeah. you are. What's going on? He's missing a Didn't kidney. you say it was like a fever dream and you felt you just woke up here yeah. one day? Fucking yeah, roofied yeah. him. I don't remember any of the... I, the last thing I remember was the United flight from Houston to Texas. Uh, Houston to Tampa. And yeah, after that, everything was just basically a blur. That's funny. Tell them about the woman on your flight. Oh, dude. Because that was part of the reason you would... Uh, didn't have By that time. point, I was 32 hours into the whole traveling thing, so <laughs> I already wanted to kill myself, basically. And so I was also feeling super sick at this point, so I jumped on this United flight from Houston, and sitting next to me was... Well, basically, it was me eight hours into the night because she was shit-faced. She was absolutely... <laughs> she, she was a mess. She was, like, knocking over... Um, Air stewardesses' carts and shit. The woman next to you? Or yeah. Wait, was she like pushing them over and shit? Or? Well, she was just like fucking around with them, basically. Oh, she, so she was she, being an asshole. She yeah. was like yeah. a thirty-five-year-old um, mid midlife crisis, mm-hmm. like blonde chick, you know, basically like the stereotypical one. And she she kept saying shit like, "Oh, I've lost my card. I can't pay for this drink." They kept serving her. I don't know why they kept <laughs> serving her. They were just asking for her at this point. And she's like, "I lost my card," and then she reach into her tits and pull it out and she's like oh there it is and she did that three times I don't know why she didn't think to check there more often the classic there's <laughs> everything in there she wanted you to look bro she yeah. thought it was a magic trick she was trying to impress you but at, Bob at, for apples at, at, at the start at the start of this flight I didn't know she was that drunk yet and she she realized I was Australian and she said oh can I snapchat you saying cunt or whatever you know American <laughs> shit there's kids behind me so I was just like fuck what do I do well don't say fuck with the kids behind you <laughs> So I said, I said cunt, I said it quietly, but I guess other people did hear because then they started associating me with her. They, mm. they thought we were friends, oh, which no. is the worst thing ever <laughs> because at the end of the flight, she was getting off and there was a massive line of people. You know how like when, when you're exiting the plane, yeah. that line does not move for Let me guess, minutes. you guys weren't in the front and she wanted to be one of the people like stand up and kind of weasel in yeah, towards yeah. the front. Yeah, no, she, wa- she wanted to get off before everyone else and she was insulting people in front of her like, oh, why are you fucking moving? Meanwhile, no one is moving. It's not their fault. She's just fucking 
yelling at people at the front of the plane from the back of the plane. She's screaming her head off and Jesus. she's kind of like leaning back to me and going, oh, we're friends, still chatting to me. And I'm like, please don't talk to me. Everyone's staring at me like we're friends. And yeah, that was 30, 34 hours into the flight at that point And it was, Ooh. I hated her. If you're watching out there, lady, we don't have a whole lot of respect for you. Yeah, you're welcome yeah. to come on and defend yourself. Jackson, if you had one word to say to her, what would you say? Uh, I'd like to take this time to say, no, I do not want your number. <laughs> Could you try to give me her number? <laughs> you think she was hitting on you? No, she wasn't hitting on me. She just wanted uh. to show me the tamper. That sounds like hitting on you. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? She wasn't hitting on me. She just yeah, wanted to I suck my show dick. you, not your girlfriend, Tampa. Just was you. it your mom? Well, my girlfriend was next to me. <laughs> oh, we should definitely talk about that. <laughs> yeah, 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 we, we got to talk about that. We, we should, we should hit on that. So we have to. A little backstory. Jackson's mom sends him porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's the backstory. There's, there's no backstory. It's just a healthy relationship. Yeah, it's <laughs> She'll be like, whoa, check this out, and send a man plowing a chick in the ass. <laughs> Follow it up with, you want to try this one day? Just, it, just curious. Don't, don't, don't. All right, so basically, <laughs> she, she is what the kids these days call a memer. She loves memes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She loves uh-huh. Porn is such a meme. It's, it's not, she finds sex. Funny. I love 9gag and Pornhub. <laughs> She's like the fucking people on the internet who want fetish porn and go, can you post this picture for laughs? Ha ha, it's think, so funny. Honestly, I think she's a predator. <laughs> she started off, this was maybe two years yeah, ago. she's an incestual predator, Jack. She started off two years ago, maybe, like, on Facebook. She's, she's, she's got on Facebook two years ago or whatever. She started sending me just innocent pictures, you know, just like fun. <laughs> just fun titties being licked. No, no, no. Asses slapped, just the light stuff. No, <laughs> nothing too heavy yet. Nothing too heavy. This was vanilla. But then she found, she found out that I was doing this podcast we're talking about masturbation and shit and it kind of progressed from there and she's she was sending me kind of comical porn not porn That's stuff but like risque things and then it progressed even further to now where it's not funny so <laughs> there's no humor to be had here it's just porn so your mom found out you were into vanilla stuff and then upgraded it when she found out you were into kinky she's, things she's pushing she's seeing how far she can push it and she's pushed it quite far Jesus. she pushed it far enough from the first step yeah. so the most recent one was just oh. A girl, a girl getting fucked in the ass, and then the girl squirting at the camera, and she sent this to me, just that five second gif of that happening, of this anal squirt, and she said, ha 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 ha, this is funny. I'm like, like, you're just sending me fetish porn. That's just good. It's good comedy. It's just porn. Ha, 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 ha. Do you want to try this? <laughs> you know, my mom just sent me Snoopy stickers and such. <laughs> you know what my mom sent me? Today, like, I I you. My, my mom sent me a gif of Stephen Colbert giving a thumbs up. <laughs> I don't know how your mom gets to fucking check out this chick's bleached ass. <laughs> I don't know how she finds it. Yeah. She's thinking of you. Who knows how she finds it, Jack? <laughs> Gosh. Oh, there's a lot of things you can find in life, but if you want to find a high-quality mattress, Lisa is who you want to look into. Isn't that right, boys? Yeah, well, I mean, Kai can literally vouch for him. He's been living off my Lisa mattress. Yeah, actually, start with yeah. that. Start with that. That's a fucking good So Lisa. Charlie gave me a room to sleep in, which is filled with uh, ball pit balls. And I added extra two Turkish balls to it, but there's also a Lisa mattress in it, and it's pretty damn comfortable. It's queen size, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. queen size more than enough for me, myself, uh, like, as a one person, if you're two people, you should get the king size. But Lisa, other than that, they're fucking meticulously n- comfortable mattress, I'm not gonna lie. It's better than the shit I got back in Germany. <clears throat> But what do they do, Charlie? They plant a tree for every mattress you buy. So I'm technically sleeping <laughs> on something that somebody planted, a tree. And they also give away free mattresses to the homeless. So if you want to help the homeless as well, you can help the homeless. You can help the planets by buying a Lisa mattress at lisa.com slash official. Let's L- Tell him the offer, Charlie. He's got it right yeah, there. At that link, you can get $160 off your, your mattress. That's massive yeah. savings. So. That's That's massive. Massive. That is massive. It is genuinely actually We're really not comfortable. shitting. We've tried them. They're very comfortable. I there's, wish I, there's no bullshit here. I wish I had gotten are. a king. I would have swapped out my current yeah, mattress. Charlie likes it more than his own mattress, but he got a size too small. Yeah. But, yeah. Lisa.com slash official. L-E-S-A dot com slash official. Good yep. shit. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa, if you're listening. That's also my mom's mom. Thanks for the call, Lisa.
Oh, actually. <laughs> yeah, he probably should. Let us know in the comments which Lisa you prefer. <laughs> Whose side are you on? <laughs> the side of good sleep or porn? Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Just laughs. laughs. Jackson, how does this make you feel? I think it's funny, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> so it doesn't make you hard, does it? It makes me super nervous that I'm just gonna wake up one morning, it's progressed so far that she's just sending nudes. <laughs> <laughs> Your father doesn't like this outfit, do you? Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you do this? Ha ha. Jackson, am I spreading my butt far enough apart? Ha ha. This is hell. Oh. Oh, oh you God. Uh, one. Don't knock anything over. Yeah. She, she's not going to get in frame. We have a visitor. Come here. I don't know if you can see her. Come here. Hey. Come here. Oh. Oh, Come here. oh Jesus. Just be careful. Oh. Watch your shirt. Be careful. <laughs> Yeah, a little, little bit. Afraid. A little bit, yeah. She looks like a little toddler peeking her head over. Yeah. I think she'd grown afraid of this. This will still be an audio uh, on audio yeah. platform, so... Oh yeah, so what happened now? is... <laughs> Kai has adopted such a child. Yeah. Well, well, Tiana has a husky <laughs> named Tetra, and she's absolutely adorable. The world famous CNN dog, Tetra. Yeah. She was on ESPN. Yeah. Good Morning Everything. America. She was on Australian oh. TV oh. shows. She was. Yeah. yeah. Fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. We were walking in your neighborhood, and one of your neighbors went, Hey, Charlie, my kids loved your dog video. <laughs> this dog is a fucking chick magnet. We were out today. We barely, like, Tiana, we got out of the car, into the con, in and out, into Starbucks, in and out to the car. That's it. And literally, like, eight people complimented this damn dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone Most does. Most of them chicks. Yeah. Chick magnet. <clears throat> God damn She always looks afraid. <laughs> Because I'm forcing you into kids yeah, exactly. as well. Like, oh. Howdy. Do you need the dog? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm we have, we have some check-ins. I need a drink, though. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. The men Kai are... Inst- so Kai's instinctive reaction whenever he sees the woman is, a woman is to ask her for a drink. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> is it, though? How about the fact that when you get very drunk, your instinctive reaction is to try to kiss everyone? How That's come you're true. bragging on the about list. it on Twitter? Because yeah. it was fun. I enjoyed it, but I just find it funny. That there you go. I just find it funny that no, in normal no conversation... No, one of you guys kissed me on the cheek. I don't know who it was. No, I went on lips. And you forced Charlie on the lips. It was probably He's, Jackson. No, no one of you kissed me on my cheek first, and I, w- I thought no half measures. Oh. I well, remember it right a bad speech. I feel like we lips. I don't know. I, I don't think know it was who it was. Yeah. 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 Was but I just find it funny that when we talk normal stuff, you're like this, I don't know, manly man about shit. Like, yeah, I want all this manly stuff. And then we drink, you're like, who's going to give me a kiss? Anyone? <laughs> okay, it wasn't like that. In. You weren't like, who wants to kiss me? <laughs> no, I'm not That's cool. That was the unique level run too. Oh. In the upstairs uh, I can't fridge. can't believe this is happening. Thank you. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> Can you give me the rum, though? <laughs> for the for the audio portion, uh, Tiana has graciously brought Kaya some Coca Cola. We, oh, we, we could just cut to where it's full. <laughs> <laughs> We're still talking. Yeah. No. Do, yeah. So far, we can leave all this. Um, yeah, this is absolutely great. For the so, audio, for the audio listeners, this is going to be our first and probably only for the meantime for video now. video yeah. podcast. We're, we're figuring that out. But point is, that night we're drinking, and there was this one girl who was. Girlfriend of a friend. Yeah, she was super duper nice, but she started asking us if we're YouTubers. <laughs> and you guys know how we feel about that. So I went to Charlie and said, "Can we please tell them we we have like regular jobs, like we sell car insurance or some shit." It was like car that. insurance. Yeah, car insurance. Of, I remember that. Thank you. Anything else need drinks? No, no thank <laughs> you. Okay. We're good. Okay. Yeah, because your obsession with America was insurance everywhere. Yeah. Kaya's first impression of America was all of our advertisements and all of our. Everything agencies are insurance, lawyers, lawsuits, it's uh, claims, everything. Literally all of them. So for those of you who've never been to America, which is, I know, the minority, but... It's, it's overwhelmingly insurance. I know. Fraud. Mm-hmm. It's, no, it, for me as a foreigner, it's exactly like you see on TV. It's political ads, like the cheesy, what for Chad Thundercock for mayor on Tampa? You go to a sports bar, it's it's nothing but baseball and political ads and insurance. 
nothing but insurance, nothing but lawyers. It's literally like nine out of 10 signs are for insurance and the other one is maybe for like medical yeah. procedures, like get your eyes fixed, get your ass fixed or something like that. <laughs> get your ass fixed. Everything else, insurance, nothing but insurance scams. When the peak of it was when you took me to like Reefers and Roofies or whatever the fuck D- Oh, my favorite restaurant. Yeah, yeah Reefers, Reefers and Roofies. Whatever the hell. Duffy's. Duffy's. Yeah, sports bar. And I, I went Generic. to the toilet and of course yeah. they have a TV in the toilet. Yeah. Because yeah. everything is... Now, to just, be fair, we tried to give you the authentic American experience. I we know. have only taken him to like sports, sports bars, bars and big chains. To no, make I loved sure. it, but the peak American experience was fun. Standing at the urinal, pissing... And an advertising came up that said, like, are you tired of being turned down and being rejected by your insurance? Get insurance in case your insurance rejects you. That was the most, like, inception yeah. meta shit that I've heard here. But it's all just like the movies. God damn. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I'm just waiting to see Ethan Hunt now just running down the street <laughs> going, this, that's what he wants us to do. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, that's just what he wants us, so we'll do it. That's that was the other follow up. Every everything that happened was not only that's what he wants us to do. It was a pause, and then so we're gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna play this we'll game. We'll do it. We'll play along. I fucking love those movies. We're, we're yeah. t- we could talk about that movie if you want. We all saw as a big family group Mission Impossible Fallout. We saw Rogue Nation before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we we watched it on the TV beforehand to refresh our memory on who the fuck Solomon Kane is or Solomon Lane or <laughs> Wait, whatever the hell is. I didn't like how they turned him into like, a generic first, crazy guy. A cultist. Yeah, exactly. In the first one, he's this brilliant, like, underworld Illuminati leader. You know, he the has syndicate. his own. Yeah, yeah the yeah. literal syndicate, like, semi yeah. shadowy governmental organization operating in his own interest. And then in the second one, he's basically just ISIS. He's he's the generic crazy cult dude with the beard how did and he, shaggy hair. How did he yeah. even organize all that from. Yeah, he, he did. Uh, well, f- G- well, his Jack, disciples did, right? Yeah, Jack, yeah, the Jack Nart, John Nart, John Nart. I, like, yeah. I, th- I thought he still had like an overarching hold on that organization. They just wanted him back. Yeah, they just wanted him back. Yeah, but so yeah, the whole movie is basically yeah. Ethan going. They need me to break him out. That's what they expect, and that's what they want me to do. So we'll do it. Yeah, that's honestly the whole plot. And then, and then occasionally yeah. to add tension, they'd go, "Ethan, it's a trap." And he goes, "I know, <laughs> but we have to." <laughs> <laughs> I like the part where Alec ba- spoilers. By the way, there's not much to spoil in this movie. Yeah, but I don't know. Should we spoil? It? There's Did one part I want to spoil because it's not it really a big out, thing. Yeah. Where I, uh, I guess, yeah. it's not really a big. So uh, Alec Baldwin dies. That's kind of and, big, but yeah. yeah. And the, the way that he dies is, oh, I've been stabbed, I'm dying. And they go, oh, that sucks. <laughs> All right, we got to go. Yeah. Like, he has the most undramatic and weirdly shot death scene in a while. And then he isn't mentioned again. And then, no, yeah, they all. never talk about him or anything. They had, a, they had a one-sentence thing, like which is pretty much what they did to Akbar in the new Star Wars. Oh, oh, they just God. kill him off screen. Well, he wasn't even on screen, but they kill him off screen. They give him like one word obituary. In the, in the Mission Impossible movie, it was just, I see why he liked you. Yeah. I see why he wasn't it like I see why he believed in this organization or something, something like yeah, that. Some yeah. literal like anime like we after, gotta come together after we spent the entire last movie going being after really important. Yeah, yeah, and actually being a part. That was the other thing in the last movie. He's a big part of the plot. In this one, he does not no, a fucking was, thing. He wasn't though. In the last movie, he had even less of a role. His yeah. role was just to kind of be like an oh, obstacle. He's right. No, yeah, he's I was right. thinking, remember yeah, he shows yeah, up yeah. on the plane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. at the end of that movie and that's about it yeah and then he's, right. they give him the gun and say you're a hero and yeah. then he joins yeah. the IMF because they made I mean, him the a hero was that yeah. he was just a big shot that doesn't like the IMF and then he gets convinced that was, yeah. the, that was yeah. his whole role like I don't know why we're supposed to feel sad about him uh, yeah shit. it's I don't think I, never them, liked I think someone more important should have been killed it would have had more impact I've, like I the would, I would, they, this movie did that thing where they show you these dramatic stakes and dramatic like uh, like Results like the nukes going off and shit like that. Ethan killing like innocent people. Yeah, and then they don't do it. They it's like a flashback. I love that the the, uh, the cop out. Let's yeah. not do it. don't spoil it too much though. Let's no, don't spoil that. I, yeah. really I love that. I know what what part you mean. I thought yeah. that was that was really that was good. Super yeah. Dope. I thought that was really well. That was super, that's yeah. a super cool movie. But I don't think any of them. I don't know if he'll do another one like some sort of a geriatric. Tom Cruise in a wheelchair so he's gonna still make Mission Impossible 7 in like 10 years but Ghost Protocol is easily my favorite 
I don't remember that one that well. Let's watch that, it today. The Kremlin scene <laughs> and yes, the Burj yes. Khalifa. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that one's really yeah. good. Yeah, it's real. I just, don't, I just don't remember the plot that well. I, it had the same plot as the new one, though. They all have they the all same plot. They literally have the same plot. <laughs> He's yeah. been just but I, I feel like I can forgive them, though, because they have so many cool moments. Like, there's so many scenes where it's like, yeah. all right, that was pretty awesome. Tom Cruise is just so fun to watch yeah. as well. He is. He's like, I mean, I mean, the, the whole heist, not only his version of the heist, but then the one that we see was also super good. Um, the whole helicopters, like that whole entire part, I thought was oh, fucking great. God. Like they, they've, they're, they're set piece movies. Yeah, the yeah, plot like, is the like same. Call of, it's Call of Duty. It's a Call of Duty movie, basically. Yeah, well, but, but, all right, yeah, no. kind of but they're, yeah, but they're, yeah, yeah, but they're, they're, they're still likable. Like I, I still think Ethan Hunt is a cool protagonist. I still like the team. They're cheesy and fun. Yeah, but Call of Duty's not fun anymore. <laughs> Call of Duty's just. What yeah. the fuck? Did you see the new screenshots and test stuff for Black Ops Four? No. They've gone full like it's Rage Two. Out? They, I think, I think like a I beta no just came out or something. They've gone full Rage Two, where everyone is a pink mohawk and an edgy name, and they're all like, "I'm the guy who makes a mess," and like everyone has like all this quippy shit. It looks so bad. Are you sure oh. that isn't just Rage Two? It's yeah. it's the same shit. Oh yeah. my god, it, it's embarrassing what they used to be. It's so fucking embarrassing. They. They went from a thing that kind of took itself seriously, but had like action movie set pieces, to who cares? Fuck it, just do whatever you want. Kevin so Spacey anyway, watch yeah. Mission Impossible Fallout and Redline. Oh, watch Redline. Red Line. Watch Redline. Red Red Line. Line. That's a trip. Uh, yeah, Redline is so fucking good. great. So there's this account on Twitter that I showed Charlie called what is it? Random, Random Sakuga? Sakuga. Random Sakuga or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sakuga or Sakura. And what it does is all this Twitter account ever shares like 10 second clips of cool animations and anime films or TV series, I suppose. And it's a great Twitter to go through if you're looking for an anime to watch. Or just something to look at while you're shitting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah. fucking beautiful. So we saw a little little snippet of that movie Redline and we decided to watch it and it's a mm-hmm. goddamn trip. Such a good style. It's basically NASCAR racing in space, but anime, and there's kaijus. Yeah. Everything so, generic anime yeah. is in the movie. Space but Nazis. But good. Done beautiful. perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a masterpiece. If, if you want a testament to its success, uh, I watched it with them, and it was my, no exaggeration, I think sixth time seeing it, and it's still fucking I'm, amazing. I want to watch it again, to be honest. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm not an anime person, so... And it's just so fucking visually gorgeous. It's it's just nice to look at. It's you don't just, even have to be watching it. You can gorgeous. just stare at it. It's, it's, it's fun. Oh. It doesn't have that bitter, boring ten minutes after party that movies have after the end. <laughs> it doesn't even have an end. It doesn't. It, just, <laughs> no, it has a one word end. That's what I mean, though. Like in a Love. typical Hollywood <laughs> movie, oh, we defuse the bomb, the world is saved, and now ten minutes of boring dialogue. Yeah. Right? It doesn't. Have if that. you want, if you want plot lines wrapped up, don't watch Red Line because <laughs> there's yeah. so many open ends. There's the no end. closure. Yeah, but the story is there as a means to do the movie. It's you get it, you follow it, but it's not important. The story is fucking great, though. No, it's yeah. good. I'm just saying that, the like, you can no even if yeah, you don't. It know, well, it it's not, okay. They destroy like an entire planet that's for a race. A yeah, that's not a story. The yeah. universe is yeah. that's a premise. You mean the world? Yeah. Like, still, like what I'm saying though is the plot is there to just facilitate the movie. Even if yeah. you don't know what's going on, it's still good and fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. it is. Because it's, it's 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 actually kind of hard to follow at points. Like, yeah. who are some of these characters? What? Where did they come from? What are they doing? Like, you just take it at face value. Exactly. It's a, it's one of those movies where I also feel like every subsequent what like viewing of it, you'll find smaller details yeah. that you can you, you can take something yeah. new from each each viewing. Basically, you I should like watch it. it four times. <laughs> at the least. real real Great fucking movie. start a book club, but about Red Line. It's on right. Amazon Prime. Get it. Yeah. You can rent it. It's not included with Prime, unfortunately. Code official. So I guess I shouldn't say that. Wait, 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 wait. So we're talking about Amazon Prime? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of Amazon Prime, there's a really good thing you can use. Oh, yeah. If you, if you want to buy Red Line, oh, yeah. maybe you can find a discount exactly. at, uh, at Honey. Exactly. Honey. Honey is a free shopping tool that finds the best promo codes whenever you shop online. And it sounds too good to be true, but let's go over the facts. First, you're wondering, how much money can I save with Cheers honey? to Honey, yeah. <laughs> no, the, the rum is at the top. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. it's settled at the top. Honey has saved people over $800 million. Jesus. And you might be thinking, it doesn't work on sites you can shop at. Look, here's the thing. It works on Amazon, which I believe is actually the biggest shopping website in the world. But yeah. you can also use it at eBay, Walmart, Newegg, J. Crew, many, many other websites. And Honey is totally free 
saves you money, save your money with honey. Kaya. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't even need that, bro. Oh, good point. No, the great thing about honey is you don't have to look up what sites it works on. It tells you when you're on the site because it's a yeah. browser extension. Yeah. That's all it is. Go to your browser store, open up the, what is it called? The Chromium extension store, whatever it's <laughs> You know what it is, the Chrome yeah. plugin store of Google. Type in honey. Join honey. Joinhoney.com slash official. I do need this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's joinhoney.com slash official. That's how you can help us. You don't have to pay anything. It's a free browser extension. You install it and you get discounts. We all use honey. It's yeah. Free. Yeah. Join it's honey. fucking com. free. I, I cannot say this enough. It's free. I actually saved money with honey on my uh, flight tickets over here. About twenty bucks. I should have done nice. that too, actually. Fuck well, me. honestly, go buy Red Line and see if you can save money with honey on it. It's <laughs> yeah, worth yeah. it. It is one hundred percent worth it. The movie's only four dollars, but if you could even save like a dollar on that, fuck it. Why and not? then donate it to the production studio because they deserve the <laughs> price for that movie. <laughs> if the director of Red Line's watching, Jesus Christ, man, you're see, a that's the kind of shit I would fund. Remember when we had Hellbands on and you asked, "What would you do if you had a lot of money?" Was that mm-hmm. him and or was I that Chris? I think it was. It was. No, we've been Hellbands, asked. That I'm sure. We've been asked it a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hellbent was the first, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he asked, what would you do? And I said, I would have these polls and whatever people voted for, I would fund it. Mm-hmm. Be it cool video games or just movies. I would just make hundreds of red lines. and Oh, sequels out the ass. Dude. Isn't that just Kickstarter? No, that's... No, no Kickstarter that's, that's is... Scams. You pay... Scams, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting True. anything. Yeah. It's like paying for red line and then you get like... A donkey you get blue That line. reminds me, here's a topic I've been wanting to bring up since uh, we haven't... Uh, contrary to popular belief, the uploads have been consistent, but we haven't recorded in like four weeks. <laughs> uh, Butch Hartman, have you guys been keeping up with his scams? Yeah. Who? Butch yeah. Hartman. Oh, well, Who the, fuck is the last Hartman? thing I remember is his kicks out of being successful. Yeah, That's so Who is to, that? to wrap it, to, I guess for everyone out there, Butch Hartman, he created Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Some very recognizable art yeah, style. He, yeah, he has. He's an artist and Shop he makes movies. stories. Yeah. Well, he launched a streaming platform that's supposed to be like this family-friendly kid streaming thing that has everything like uh, amateur videos that people submit and go through a family f- family-friendly butch Religion apartment. Friendly, really. <laughs> yeah. Just a whole bunch of shit, sports news, whatever. It's a streaming platform that's made for the family, and it got funded. It's called Oasis. And then there's a video that surfaced like two days after it got successful. Of him preaching at a church about how it's like this deceptive Trojan horse for promoting Christianity. What the fuck? Yeah, and then everyone got like all outraged about it. And then a day after that, he had Tara Strong, who's the voice of Timmy Turner. Tons tons of of voices. The ponies, right? Yep. Yeah, she's a pony. She's in a ton of videos. She's a Harley Quinn in most Batman stuff. She's in any big production. She was probably in Redline. And he had her on his podcast. And to her face, he made a joke about how she's responsible for her friend's suicide. <laughs> who was also fucking, a voice actor. Who was also a voice actor. Oh my god. She was the original voice of Timmy Turner, and yeah. she killed herself, so then Tara took it. And then Butch Hartman blamed Tara for the suicide. Oh what did he say? He said, uh, he brought it up, he was like, she tragically passed away, and Tara, you had something to do with that, no doubt. That was his joke. <laughs> top, top of the line I comedy guess. I mean, when master. did it happen? I was like a week, two weeks. Well, no, no. When, when it was the suicide, episode. like ten years. Oh, ago. the suicide was like yeah, fifteen, it's still twenty not, years. Ago. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, you still, don't, of her. you still don't blame her for the suicide. It was if a you want to joke, he doesn't really blame her. If you want, like, I'm sure you had something to do with it. It was a That's friend of hers. I, I feel like Butch Hartman would be years tone, ago. I feel like he'd be tone deaf enough to not have been funny about it. Listen to it, but it's not something beyond the pale. No, um, it's, it's just meant to illustrate oh, that he's yeah. a douchebag. Yeah. Because also on stream, like, uh, he typically bans anyone with criticism of him. Yeah, so was- some guy asked him a question about, like, the art style and why, he, and why he chose it. And he had his mods ban him. And then he berated him because he said, you couldn't do my art style. So why do you have the right to ask me about my choices? What? And then he went on this tirade what? about how if you can't match me, you can't say anything about me. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I hate that. That's shit. the worst argument that. in the history of fucking anything. It's not an argument. It's not an argument. That's yeah. what douchebags always do. It. That's what that yeah. Jessica Price cons does. The one that got fired from Guild right. Wars. Yeah, she's so, the writer. Yeah. You're not a writer. Why should I take any criticism from fans? Fuck you. That's it's never. It's a, a not. It's a because they're your customers. Like if I open a not bar. Argument. And people are like, give me a beer. And instead, I just unzip and I piss in their yeah. drinks. And I'm like, <laughs> are you a bartender? This is my house brew. You can't, you don't make yeah. your own brew. Like, yeah. That's never a fucking argument, ever. Oh, oh no! no! 
What happened to him? You unplugged it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I, thank I thought God. the power blipped. Yeah, yeah. what a I mean, that's got battery, and that's got battery, so Still, we're... Still, you freak out. Yeah. We're good, everybody. Hey, hey, that made such live. a terrifying sound, too. Yeah. Ugh. I thought Kaya yeah. just stuck his ass in, like, the <laughs> socket or something, and it like The lights came himself. back to him. Yeah. But it's such a non-fucking argument. You don't need experience to have criticism or judgment. It's it, not fucking equivalent. I get when people... It's pe- just like, narcissism. I get ignorant people give you criticism, I get. Yeah, that. like if somebody who doesn't know how to drive comes up to you and like, "Oh, you're driving like that." Yeah, I get that. But, but but this is the guy who's consuming your stuff. I think he knows a little about your stuff. There's yeah. there's a total difference where like if someone shows me their art style and someone comes up and goes, "Oh, you don't, you obviously don't know how to draw. You don't know what you're doing. You have no experience. You'll never do this." Like that's okay. You don't know what you're talking about. You're not an artist. This or that. But if I just say, "Hey, your art looks like shit. I don't like it. I don't think it's a good style." You can't say I'm wrong. It's a fucking opinion. It's a view. Yeah. But it's this, criticism. This is also different. Like Guild, that Guild Wars uh, person who offered the criticism to her story writing, he's been in that community for like 10 years. He wasn't even an outsider, yeah. yeah. That dude was part of that community. Apparently some streamer or YouTuber. Yeah, who they just get offended that people don't agree it's, in liking their shit. It and they want, to, they want to defend themselves yeah. when there's nothing to defend. It's a losing battle. Exactly. When someone says that to me, they've immediately lost. One hundred percent of the time, you don't mm. need to be in the field to criticize something that you're consuming. It doesn't exactly. make your criticisms invalid. It's exactly. fucked up. It's just it's how fucking garbage. She was playing the vagina card too. Like yeah, the literally, vagina. Oh, really? you could you could sneeze the, the wrong way, and she would be like, "This is because I'm a woman. This is you're attacking me because I'm a woman." And the fucked up part is, if a dude did this, you would call him a cunt, right? You would call him abs. You are a bitch. You are a stupid asshole cunt. But you do it, and you get to play the vagina card, and I can't call you that, even though you are an absolute cunt, Jessica. Fuck you. <laughs> I can't wait for her Twitter Fuck rampage. You. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Hi. She had, I, she, had like a, she had like a 50 tweet meltdown. Oh, I scrolled yeah. through. I, 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 I glimpsed that one. Fun to read. Yeah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Stupid asshole. Anyway, how about our con? Uh, I loved it. It was I had a too. dick load of fun. Thank you to everyone so, that came out as yeah. well, who, who flew out, who drove. Uh, yeah, so no, people going to let's admit lines. our wrongdoing. Why I would guess. you? Why would we have? You made us have to admit this live on air. My lord, Kaya. What was the wrongdoing? Well, no. Okay, so the <sighs> story is basically this: this con thing comes up, and we're kind of apprehensive. Oh, this! Oh, yeah. please go ahead. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why he wants to admit it on. No, I, I want you guys no, to admit I'm it. Happy go about it. Please go ahead. Damn it! <laughs> no, this is something like I'm. I'm glad I got proven wrong. I, yeah. I didn't lose anything. That like, like I, I said, it was win-win win either way. But, but yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, admit it. But please go ahead. No, so Charlie and I were like, dude, nobody's gonna show up. It's yeah. ten. It's ten p.m. at a knockoff comic con <laughs> <laughs> that nobody even knows about in some dank dumb fuck city nobody's gonna be when, and, and we, were, we were totally vindicated when we first got there because there was only the custodial crew yeah. outside there yeah. was, it there was, was a nobody very small it was, group. It was nobody. deceptive yeah. because the hallways are, were nearly empty 100% but we didn't know they were all in the rooms already everybody apparently, was already busy I talked to them after because it goes with that apparently some people got there so early to get a spot they were watched the entire previous panel and the woman before us thought she had a big crowd, and it turns out only like five people were there for her. Oh, and that's everyone sad. else was oh, from That's sad. That's fucked yeah. up. Well, I thanks for supporting that. Girl yeah, yeah. 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 I hope you were nice to her. That's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But so, no. they. Some of you guys gave us shit because we only announced the con like two weeks beforehand. Not even. It was a week. Not our yeah. fault. Yeah, it was a week. Yeah, but, before. yeah, the con... They had a gag order on it. We weren't allowed yeah. to announce it, and we didn't want to risk it because we didn't know how uptight they were. We didn't know if they would yeah. come to us and be like, "You leaked this. We gotta cancel you." So yeah. Yeah. I, we I kept it under wraps. I took the helm in setting this up. They did us no favors whatsoever. They were hard to get a hold of. They would barely answer shit or give us info. They did not help us out in any way. When I needed changes or questions, they would either not do them right or not answer everything. Like, I don't know how fucking hard it is when you send a question, an email with three questions, why you get a reply with one answer to the first question. And no So anyway, the organization is ass. They had no yeah. idea what they were doing. The organization was yeah. shitty. Yeah. It was a mess. But anyway, so along those two weeks or however long that we announced it I start to slowly feel worse and worse about it because mm. yep. I kept seeing people buying tickets organizing with their friends to rent Airbnbs go on like 15 hour drives and I'm getting a little like 
I don't know, like, this is only five people that I saw saying this, but even if it's just them going through all that trouble to <laughs> see us, how would we ever make anything that would satisfy them? Like, I'm gonna feel bad. They're gonna come here, they're gonna be disappointed. You know, they say don't meet your heroes, don't meet people you look up to or like, and, you know, they're not gonna be as nice in person or whatever. Like, how are we gonna put on a show? We don't even, like, we've never even been in the room before, so I'm starting to feel bad. We get an Uber to the place. It's <laughs> the four of us. Well, and... Um, Tiana. Yeah, Tiana and... Do they know her name? And my girlfriend. And his <laughs> girlfriend, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> and my mom, yes. And Jackson's girlfriend. Yeah. And then three of our friends, friends slash fans also took along. an Uber there. So it's basically six people plus three fans that we brought. <laughs> <laughs> Our groupies. Yeah. And Charlie and I were thinking, like, there's going to be at least, at most, like, 15, 20 people. Oh, I, I was we even were, lower than that. I was going, yeah. like, five to ten. We were betting yeah. on the way there how yeah. many people would show up. Both yeah. Andrew and I were also guessing conservative. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I said minimum 10, max 20, I yeah. think is what I said. So we were all blown away. Yeah. They also told us, or somebody told me, that they gave us a room that seats 200 people or something. Yeah. Oh, which they was the saddest us, thing. The saddest fucking thing yeah, we the, heard about. Oh, yeah, we're sitting in the Uber going like, what? <laughs> yeah, according, what? according to them, we had the biggest non- uh, headliner room so like there's the giant auditoriums for like the headliners the celebrities we had the biggest room below that so we were like one of the largest areas for non-featured people so we're thinking it's gonna be just like the f five people in the front row it's gonna be the sad event yeah like a little camp story Where even the people who are enthusiastic about it they're gonna like look around see all the empty seats and feel embarrassed and we thought we would have to tell people to move closer and make it like a pow yeah. <laughs> you want to come up on stage come on just oh yeah gino's yeah. also there so that makes like yeah six people ten people well, like, yeah ten people ten, ten with the okay yeah, yeah. Count everyone, yeah. so we're ten and we get there and outside of the room, you already, like, run into one or two of the odd fans, mm -hmm. right? They're like, oh, shit, is that, that, that's them, that's them. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. And we're like, oh, fuck, how are we going to, like, make it up to them? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how, how are we going to be entertaining we to should, these poor people? We should at least give them a drink or something. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's, let's just take them to the bar or something. This is <laughs> so bad. I feel so bad. And then the people start to get out of the thing f from the last... There was like a 9 p.m. event, mm -hmm. yeah. and ours there was, was 10 p.m. Yeah. So it's Prime our turn time. to... Jackson's lost. We didn't was, have him because he was on the toilet yeah, shitting. Yeah, I didn't have to deal yeah. with this. I was dealing with explosive diarrhea. Yeah, because <laughs> we were at a, at a restaurant before, and Jackson ate literally everything. There oh, was like six courses was plus dessert, it, mm -hmm. and Jackson was finished them it. all. He fucking ate at least 4,000 calories yeah. in that yeah. one. Do you want to name drop it? You really yeah, must. Yeah, have. Burns Steakhouse. If you're ever in Tampa, it is mandatory that you fucking go. It is it's the best amazing. meal I've ever had. It's amazing. Jesus Christ. It's pretty good, but, but on Instagram. they, you know, don't fill up on the entrees. But anyway, <laughs> we go there. We, get, we, get, we peek into the room, Charlie and I. And I'm like, what the fuck, Charlie? There's people sitting. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, I, I had this. Holy shit. Not oh, only no. did I notice that, but I saw like in a crowd in front of the door. And when I walked up, I checked the schedule next to the door to make sure it was the right room. I saw like three dudes in Bordenberger shirts. And then as I'm going over the schedule, like two guys, one comes up and goes, hey, Andrew. I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. That we walk cute. in. We're walking at Charlie and I, I couldn't even pay attention to you guys because I know he's my mate. He's feeling the same way. I am. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. I know. We're walking in like, and we're at the back. Everybody is in the, it's like a big classroom, like a big yeah. college class. Yeah. Like a lecture. Yeah, it lecture was an auditorium. Room. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's staring at the front where the table is. They're mm -hmm. not looking at the people coming in and we're the people coming in. And they start noticing, and everybody starts cheering, and it was so embarrassing yeah. for me because I was so wrong, and I, <laughs> and I hit being wrong. It was like this moment where we both had to just like swallow our pride down, yeah. like our ass, and just be like, Andrew was well, right. Well, it was, was, it was so a combination right. of swallowing your pride and then stage fright, because yeah. that's the first <laughs> time in my life yeah, exactly. so many people in person gave a fuck about my existence. Well, you yeah. gave me, you guys made me doubt myself, because when we first did this, I was like, no, people will come out, it'll be fun, we'll get a good group, even if people don't know us, like, I put your and my internet handles on it, so like, if they don't know the podcast itself, they'll see that, and like, you know, we'll probably get like 50 people just all together. 
<laughs> we got there. We have like a hundred people more with more that. filing in as we start doing yeah. it. I felt so fucking good. But even then, leading up to this, you guys were ragging on it so consistently towards the like getting closer to you. I was like, maybe we'll get like 50. Maybe it'll still be fun. Uh, yeah, we'll yeah. make it fun for whoever shows up. Yeah, he was, kept trying to like console us. Like, don't worry, guys. Even if it's only four people there, we'll shake their hand and we'll, we, we chipped we'll away out. his confidence. Like, yeah, 50. Yeah, of course they'll for show up the 40 people. Yeah, and, you know, the 20, we can take them to a bar that those 10 people that come. <laughs> and then <laughs> there's 150. That was yeah. like, and that was legitimately was, the plan. Like we the, were thinking, By the end of it, the room was pretty much full by the end we were, of it. We were thinking, like, if it's legit just 5 or 10 people, we're going to give them the time of their lives. Yeah. We'll yeah. just sit with them. We'll have fucking fun. We'll... Take them the back to Burns. In. Yeah, we'll, we'll take them to a bar or something. Yeah. We'll ditch this place. We'll go to a bar to drink. And then we go in. It's the half the place is filled. So it's like 200 seats. So there was at least 100 people there. 100 of you. Before we started. Yeah, we got there like yeah. 20 minutes early too. Yeah, we yeah. started 20 minutes yeah. early. And we finished the 20 minutes late. Yeah. The lady came up in the back. She's like, she gave us a wrap it up. Did she come up to tell you to end it? Yeah. She yeah. came up uh, to uh, G. G. To, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We, I pulled G up on stage too to like be my anchor. <laughs> I, I would pass him the mic. He was like, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, 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 I had no, fun no, the whole time no. though. I loved it. I thought it was great from start to Dude, finish. Dude, it was great. I fucking had fun. We got all the people that came out. We got to give a big hug and kiss to anyone out there watching or listening right now. If you drove, I know one person yeah. drove 13 hours there and back. Yeah. Jesus. I know a bunch of people flew. Yeah. I know a bunch of people like got Airbnbs and ride shared and all this and organized like these meetups. Yeah. I know a big group from my personal Discord, from the podcast Discord, from your Discord all made friend groups to meet up at the con and apparently went there early, hung out, made friends, and then went to the panel. So to anyone who came to it and made it a big thing or made it a whole excursion, thank you for that. Also, that was fucking yeah. cool. Huge props to the, like the 70 year old man like in the second to last oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, With the CH shirt. Yeah, yeah, he had like a CH <laughs> shirt. College humor shirt. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what the, who the fuck that, he didn't know us. No, he, he just no, came not at he, all. He definitely, well, I don't think he knew us beforehand, but he stayed the whole time. Yeah. I, start no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He and he asked, just, he asked a good question. He was like, yeah. so if you guys weren't doing YouTube, how would you go about this and shit? And it was like, he actually wants to get to know this. Yeah, yeah. Cool. He's so yeah. sweet. He was nice. I feel like maybe he came there with his daughter or something. No, he was alone. He was alone. He said he alone. Went, he went I alone. Saw, I, I yeah. did see in the third row, uh, like, a couple of parents with younger yeah. fans. Yeah, 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 definitely. But no, that guy came by himself because he left by himself, yeah. too. We gave the warning, though. At the beginning, we said we were going to swear and talk about adult things. That yeah, was yeah, a, yeah. That, so that was another way Tampa dropped the ball. We uh, told them for, like, two weeks, hey, it's an 18-plus panel. Like, yeah. it's, it's not hard recommend or hard cut off cut off but it's recommended and it was 13 plus on the schedule yeah, and we got I don't there. Give a fuck if you yeah, want to bring your kid yeah. bring your kid I, no I don't get shit you. either I don't care either. I don't care at all for content wise but it's like just so we don't get in trouble I don't know they had like this set of rules that looked like Jackson's mom yeah. would have wrote it it was if you must in caps cuss you have to give a full disclosure it, pass out NDAs letting people know literally why, why would my mom have written that? Well, yeah, I, I, I was she, mom she's she's in in the goddamn you want to fuck yes no <laughs> Andrew's yeah. mom she's a school teacher yeah yeah no it actually 100% reminded me when I did theater in middle and high school because they would have rules and it's like before you do your scene or your monologue tell the audience if you're going to swear or do offensive yeah. gestures yeah. and literally just reminded me I have to stand up and go hey okay this contains foul language if you need to leave get out because we had to Look, it I, said in the packet make sure they have a moment of it said like moment of brevity so they can get up and I leave get, if they I have get it to from, I get it from the Comic Con's perspective uh, it makes it. sense but it's well, just suck a dick why do we yeah. get it it's, it's adult <laughs> shit you're they teasing movies like Venom The yeah. Dark Knight Rises because like, uh, kids can just wander in it's Comic Con it is a family oh, event lest they hear the F word but it's, oh, well some parents it's don't cover, like it's it covering yeah. their asses like, I, I completely understand why they do it 100% it's a family event you can go in and be five and buy a whatever ticket. yeah so that was fun and then I know all the I feel like everybody that came to see us have, have to be watching this because you're the dedicated fans <laughs> so shout outs to you in the first place but I did feel a little bad about the SWAT guys yeah a little mm -hmm. so what they happened they fans they weren't fans they didn't know us they didn't know us at all they yeah. didn't know us no so and we, we didn't know them all as well that's yeah. an important detail so these guys <laughs> in yeah. what was their costume they had a Call of Duty yeah Call of Duty they had like Punisher skulls on their masks 
mm-hmm. two guys in SWAT gear, but they had the Punisher mask looking like a skull mask yeah. and guns, and they came in. Looked like a Fortnite skin. Yeah. 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 Basically. And we all had a laugh, but they, yeah. like, they overstayed their welcome by like five or ten minutes, and our fans started getting a little antsy and because all yeah. of our reactions, impatience. Yeah. they were doing stuff behind us while we were trying to answer questions yeah. and stuff, and all of our yeah. attention was there. I, I feel bad because I might have egged that on in the beginning because I made the joke. Because when they were coming in, like I think one of them said something, and I said, "Oh, we're being raided," and then, like they, that was a joke. And I just kind of thought it would be, "Oh, everyone no. turn around, laugh and clap," and that was it. But no. then they kind of at the beginning it was fun for like yeah. twenty minutes. Exactly, it I just fun. wanted to we have were all fun laughing. with it. Yeah, but then they started. Scooting in closer and closer and with us, and we're part shit. of the panel. Yeah. I have a story. And then, yeah, he's like, no. the, the one guy in the end was trying to chime in on questions as well. Yeah, no, no at that no. point, our fans started going, like, Dude, yeah. get out of here. Yeah. And, like, and we had fun with costumes. Like, we had the Shad Man that we called out, we called out people's stuff. It's like, we didn't call her out. <laughs> not call yeah, out, she, I mean, like, call we acknowledged, we made a joke. She was yeah. called, no, call, nothing call, against you. We called attention <laughs> to, is what I mean. We, yeah. were, we weren't calling them out, yeah. we, were, we were bringing it in. Yeah. So it wasn't like we were just, it was just these guys, yeah. we were making a big thing. We were yeah. interacting with the fucking audience. So yeah. We didn't know them, but apparently on as they were walking out our fans were telling them fuck off and kill themselves yeah well, they didn't say that it was yeah. just it was one guy I got a tweet saying that I told them to fuck off yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's the so, guy yeah. and then one of them cried which was yeah, sad yeah I heard yeah. one of them cry I walked up to them afterwards after we so got out you. I was like no no hard feelings right dude like yeah. we didn't mean anything by that you just kind of overstayed your welcome and he told me he was fine but I heard they still cried so so you know no hard feelings. <laughs> it just... I don't know what to say. It was... We be, there was no animosity. Yeah, kind yeah. Of this. You should have you should have left your gig ten minutes early. No, we would be a comedian. We don't really deserve this table. We'd be the worst fucking Bond villains apologizing to our victims who Sorry, aren't even here to listen. They're listens. not our victims. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm yeah. not taking... You deserved it. Yeah. I mean, it's a con thing. Cons, people just kind of dick around, do whatever. You kind of expect shit like this to happen. And but it, it did go a little far. Yeah. That was the For whole For those problem. of you wondering, because I know that of the 100 people that came, the other nine ninety nine thousand nine nine hundred of you, no clue that this you're going to be yeah. like, oh, did you record it? Yes. And it's going to go up it. at some point. We we're, have it. we're fucking with it right now. Trying to make it work. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We... we it may, be, it may be shitty audio, but we I have. I didn't mean to, obviously. Hmm? It's right in front of the microphone. Don't do that. I dropped the microphone. In front of the shit. kangaroo. Oh, there. <laughs> Speaking well, of right fun. in front of the microphone, hell, it's time for shout outs. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Well, give me. Pull so up. may as well. I've got a hard PP coming on. Oh, well, baby. Let's do the shout out. Oh, we're on the clock. Go you can, while. You can edit. Go pee. Uh, I'll go. No, no, no. Don't go. It's uh, like 20 feet from me. Just go. No, just let's do the shout out. Let him piss. He's not going to be able to come. Shout outs first. Hey there, you fuck. This one, this one comes from James Douglas. Hey there, you fucking degenerates. Thank you for another month of super sexy content. Hot off the press. The best thing since butter's creamy goo. Unfortunately, lately I've been running low on funds, but luckily I was able to go on Robinhood.com and make some fresh coin to give you guys for a reason. Nobody else in my life understands. Cheers to you. I love you guys and hope you never stop making content. Did he Don't say cunt. Mother's Fresh Cream and directed it at you? He said Robin Hood, yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, what gave so, him that idea? Oh, gosh. I wonder if Jackson goaded them into advertising. For, is this going to be just like ads now? I hope not. No. It's, it's not, not our fault. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's Jackson's fault. fault. Oh, okay. Jackson's fault. All right, not our fault. It's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Screw uh, this is from Andrew O'Keefe. Hey, your boy Andrew is back at it again with some controversial shit. After your podcast with internet comment etiquette, Eric, I checked his channel out and I think he produces content so he's good in my books. But I was surprised to see Maddox featured in a video of his back in February called Things You're Doing Wrong. Any real thoughts from you boys? I think he can collaborate with whoever he wants, but you know, it's Maddox. Sorry for the long message. Peace. All right, so here's my thoughts. I think he can collaborate with whoever he yeah, wants. Yeah. yeah. That shit where you have to dissociate. We're not yourself doing drama. From, like, come on. It's not drama. You mm. can't do whatever the hell you want with yeah. other people. Yeah. The, that thing that's Maddox's move is oh, you collaborated with that guy? Well, I'm no longer yeah. your friend. Yeah, it's fucking silly. No, it's yeah. I wouldn't do it's that. I don't shit. like him. I, w- I personally wouldn't want to be in the same video as him. Like, or that's the wrong way to put it. Like, I would love to be in the same video as Maddox. <laughs> but, I like... It's middle school shit. We're, we're not, not going to blame we're him. Not we're not going to be it. like, okay, let's delete the episode yeah, of we're not comment gonna, editing. <laughs> we're, let's never have... Scrub it. it. Oh, let's block we're internet comment boys. etiquette. No. 
We're big it's boys. His, it's his on. This one's from El Galas, archaeologist here with a new update. <laughs> nah, yeah, we're, 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 we're good. good. Thank, thank you. We're good. Thank you. I found some cool stuff. Our waiter just came back to our table. <laughs> that's very sweet of you, though. Thank you thank very you. much. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That, so you're gonna hear the design. No, that's fine. Don't thank you. About. We're just doing shots. <laughs> Archaeologist here with a new update. I've found some cool stuff again. Roman glass, a sword, pummel, and a bronze clasp 3,000 years old. Good to hear. Keep up that good shit, El Glass. That's cool. Hopefully you'll find the One Piece treasure. Do you want to, we'll share a phone and they'll share my phone. Yeah, yeah that's probably okay. easier. Okay. Okay. You and I are using this one then? Yeah. Do I scroll down to where it says Kaya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, read Charlie's shoutouts. Who cares? This is from Zachary. He says, hello boys, and congrats on the live show coming up. Oh. 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 We already did that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, though. It went great, Zach. Just Dis- discard the whole thing now. It's out of date. That's super exciting, unless it already aired. In which case, well done. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck you. He's on this show. <laughs> I wanted to be there. <laughs> we did do well. I think we did do well. I think it was great. I loved it. It was fun. Bring a live show back down under with Jackson. I'd be really keen to come to one in the future with the rest of us Aussie patrons. Cheers, boys. Hooroo. Love ya. That sounds good. Oh. Is that a cheer in Australia, Jackson? Hooroo? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm. So you want to go up to yours, right? (laughs) Thank you, Zachary. Perhaps a tiger. Thanks, Zach. (laughs) I'd be down for it. I I would not go to Australia. Yeah, he would. Don't let your fans down. I do. I want to go. This one comes from Lemurian Wolf. Roses are red, violets are good. Learn to invest in the stock market for free using Robinhood. (laughs) Jesus. That was a rhyme, at least. Robinhood.com. Investing now for the rest of us. Also, the new Aquaman trailer is definitely not moist. People pay us to shill no, our No, it's fucking Jackson, man. It was not. I just yeah. told them everything about what the episode was going to be. You didn't. You were like, it would, wouldn't it be funny if you did X for us? Ha ha. You no, got that from your mom. No, I didn't. <laughs> if you're a patron, then you know exactly what email we're referring to. Yeah. This one's we're from... sorry. This one's from... Bueno. Brad Alfalfa. Yeah. Uh, my Robin is poking through my hood. And it's starting to soar. By flaccid cell erect. Check my girl's art, deviantart.com slash atolls, A-T-O-L-L-Z. Right. Good shit. I didn't say you could, you could shill that. I the Robin he said you had to shill him. I made the Robin Hood. This is from Deviant Predator. Hello, fellow butts. This week I wanted to know what the darkest thought you or your close friend has had, especially you, Kaya. I have one, but it would probably, it, but it would probably be make people want to kill me because it involved disabled people in a greenhouse. Let's hear it. Love you guys' P.S. I'm not crazy, but that's what a crazy person would said. Darkest thought? Darkest yeah, thought. I'm a bit confused. I thought like, it was like... Like edgy. most fucked up thing you yeah. think. Oh, about. I thought it was just like edgy. I don't yeah, know if same it's shit. fucked up, but I have this meth... Like sometimes when this I can't sleep... Lab? No. Sometimes when I can't sleep, I like to think of ways I would torture like animal abusers. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Child abusers in a way and such. And I came up with this method. So, you know, sensory deprivation, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you take a guy. So let's say you really want to punish him, right? Take him, surgically remove all of his limbs. Mm-hmm. These limbs right here. You yes, remove his teeth, one. remove the tongue, so shut the mouth, putty shut the nose. <laughs> well, then he can't the breathe. Yeah. No, hang on. Oh, through his mouth. Uh, remove the eyes. No, the mouth is sewn shut too. Here, incision for the air pipe. Okay, you burn his skin so he doesn't feel anything anymore, aside from pain, maybe. And you give him an IV so he can stay alive. The same thing they give to like coma patients and shit, so he doesn't have to eat like a serum. I don't know what they give them. So basically, you remove all senses from him, okay, and the limbs and the genitals. You put him in a sensory deprivation tank, just for safe measure, okay? God forbid, yeah. And you leave him there. But then every couple of years, because I feel like I just want to trap you inside your brain. I just want to trap that your brain inside your mind and I want to see what happens if you don't have any senses. And then like every like, I don't know, five, 10 years, I'll take a needle and I'll prick you <laughs> just to see the brain waves go like, holy shit, a sensation. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I, I think I read that exact Facebook post about a troop disowning someone who didn't support the war. I'm not kidding. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I, I also don't know what, know what that, that would be about. But your phone locked. This Here. is what I would love to do to phone. people. Basically, it's gonna look as well. Fuck. What are you God, doing? We're so unprofessional because I don't want to keep unlocking it. Here, I'll just we'll lock. just get them to keep. I'll just. I have to keep unlocking it. Yeah. 
Does that answer what is you guys? Is? No, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd make him pee pee somewhere. That he I want, want I've to. always thought it'd be fun to mind break somebody. I don't know what that means. See, it's mind breaking, isn't it? No, not your way, but like someone like <laughs> that's, that's, that's too far. No, 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 it's no, the not, same thing though. Not like, would you not torture them, but like no. drive someone insane? Like literally that's make them torture your cunts. No, that's, no, that's no. Torture. Like, like you want to remove their limbs and put them in a fucking glass box? I just want them to like, I don't know. I want a slave where I'm all like, you, you're worthless, and they're like, yes, I am, master. Or that's just shit. role play. Yeah, it's just role play. Well, yeah. that's what I, I mean for real though. I want them to go like, do I still exist? I want to see what happens to brainwaves once you remove all sensation and they're in nothing but darkness. I guess I'd make them come to our panel. Yeah. Yeah, fun. Do the next shout out. We're, we're on this one for too long. No, no, no. What's at Charlie's? He'd make him pee pee. I don't know what. Okay, I, a meme answer. All right. I have no fucking idea. This one comes from Brandon Todd. Hey boys, just enjoying some honey on my new Lisa mattress that I got using the promo Good code God. official at lisa.com. That's L-E-E-S-A dot com, promo code official. Thanks for giving me the high life, boys. Love you. Can you post these somewhere public so we can prove that we're not just shilling our shit yeah. over and over again? <laughs> yeah. They're not just Brandon. making them up. Alright, this is from Dizzy Mercury. Hey boys, hope everything is going well for you. I haven't had much time to listen to the podcast this summer since I'm not driving as much to and from my college. But I'll never cancel this Patreon tier. Andrew, when's the next time you're coming to Chicago? I'd love to meet up and shoot the shit. Have fun at Tampa Comic Con, boys. We did. I am probably very likely going to Detroit in November. And that means I'll probably stop at Chicago for a few days while I'm up there. So, early November. First half of November. Very likely. This is from Joke Zone You. Hey, boys. Last shout out till I remember you guys are with... Last shout out till I remember you guys are with the $25, but till then stay Ziploc fresh. A request of mine is James A. Janice of Dead Meat. It'd be cool hearing about your guys' favorite horror movies with him. Love you, Kaya. That's it. That's it, man. Yeah. yeah, thank you. If uh, we have that man on, we'll talk about our favorite horror movies. Well, no. What is your favorite horror movie? Well, he said with him. He doesn't want to hear it now. Mine's probably are hereditary, sure? though, to uh, answer it. Is Upgrade a horror movie? No. Fuck. But that's a fucking great It's movie. a really good answer. Honestly, probably it's Cube. <laughs> yeah. Cube's all right. I love Okay, Cube. all right. He doesn't want to hear the movie. Yeah, yeah not now. I read this. Okay, this is from Ornery Milkman. He says, Hi, boys. It's a good name. It's been a long time since I got to tell you all how much I love you. I would shout out my music, but I honestly don't think it's good enough at the moment. Aw. Well, you missed your opportunity. I, yeah. <laughs> kind of did. With all the stupid shilling. Yeah. Yeah. What he can shill, I don't care. But I love so to. so. His music's at blueapron.com slash <laughs> official. <laughs> I didn't that tell him about his music. It's delicious mixtape. But yeah. I love you guys so so much. Love you too, Ornery. Thank man. you, Ornery. Thank I you. I like your name. It's good. Uh, this one comes from Chammy. Hey guys, I'm loving the podcast and I know you guys all work hard on it. I hope you enjoy making it as much as I enjoy watching it. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately, I'm banned from the Discord, so it's been hard to talk to the community, but I was being an idiot, so that's my bad. I hope you boys have a lovely day or night. Thanks for all the laughs. Thank you, Chammy. Yeah, thank you, Chammy. Thank you. This one is from Luther Aponte. Aponte? I'm not sure. Aponte? The useless guy in Fallout, yeah. Sure. Fallout. Uh, oh, Mission Impossible. This shout-out uh, shout is dedicated to my closest friend, Katie, who puts up with way too much of my bullshit. I don't deserve you, and I can't thank you enough for sticking by my side for the past 19 years and being there for me when I need to do the most. I love you, and you will always be my favorite person in the world. And then he drew a little heart with his text. That That's a real so shout-out. That's, really That's cute. so goddamn That's cute. cute. That is actually adorable. That's you a really cute friends. one. Thank you for that. You're That's a lucky person, person. Yeah. Katie. Was yeah. It Katie. That was so nice. Yeah. I hope that you are in a, rela a relationship with her and she's not like someone you stalk or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're some hoping for the best. It's yeah. a pony voice actress. <laughs> it's Tara Strong's alter ego. This is DJ Harden. DJ Monkey didn't leave a message. Oh well. Thanks for supporting us. By the way, can we all agree Ant-Man and the Wasp was really good? I can't because I haven't seen it. It's really I bad. I haven't seen it either. Oh. That's it. DJ Harden... I get that reference. I've though. really got a PP. I'm super sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I edit you out of the whole podcast. I told you, man. If you, I mean, if you want to read, you can, I guess. But yeah, well, you know, honestly, with post-processing, I could, in fact, edit you out of this. Keep going. I would just... You, could, you mean you could edit him in? No, well, I could edit him out. Like, 
right now I have the frame. I would just put it here over him, and he would literally never be in the episode. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to edit out all these well, It would be easier. And then I'd need to style. Well, of course, it, it would be easier. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah this it. is from Brohemium. Brohemium, maybe. He says, You know what gives me a mighty erection, boys? Waking up and checking my account on Robin Hood. <laughs> Fucking Jackson. I've already been using... I've already Jesus, dude. Have some class. I fe- I fe- <laughs> Sorry, I've had a, a lot of love. I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually already been using Robinhood, and I started using it knowing nothing about the stock market. It's very easy to use, convenient, and self-explanatory. And it actually fucking works. I've made money out of it. So use Robinhood today at Robinhood.com and make sure you tell them the boy sent you, because... That's how they get fed. Broham, I hope you actually have made money using this because with that fucking shilling you deserve to be paid. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Broham Yum. Um, this one comes from Andrew Dronabona. This is my last $100 donation I can give to you boys since my new job is a bi-weekly pay and I'm not quite used to it. I'll try to at least keep it to $25. By the way, Vic, you're the best. With a question mark. You're the best? Yeah. Thank you, Drew. Yeah, we thanks appreciate you. everything you've done. Yeah, thanks for being a $100 uh, patient yeah. for like, what, a year and a half? Like, since we started. And more importantly, yeah. for, more importantly than that, thanks for buying the wetware. <laughs> fuck the Patreon. Buy wetware. No, do the Patreon. Yeah, fuck the wetware. Yeah, three to one, but do the Patreon. Yeah. Buy the Patreon. This is from Habilis Potter. It sounds like a fucking Mario villain. Uh, Andrew, if you don't shut the fuck up, <laughs> I'm going to go back in time and fetus deleted your ass. Don't be stupid. Be a smarty. Come and join the Nazi party. I think it was meant to be fetus delete us. Yeah. So who's the real loser now? <laughs> Got him. But Thanks for the support, Ablis. What a great start to that message. <laughs> this is from Darnelius. Darnelius Fump, uncle of Peef Spog. <laughs> we met him. We met. We met him at we the met panel. Him, we met nice him at the dude. panel. You're Very a nice sweet man. guy. Yeah. My friends roasted me for my masturbatory habit of finishing into the toilet. I. That's a common one. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Is it really that weird? No. There's no cleanup. No cleanup at all. Yeah. Literally no hassle. No. P.S. See you boys at the live show. Hey. Yeah. 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 He's a man of you his sauce, word. sauce, Peef. Good shit. Peef. Thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. It was nice meeting you. He had this big... It was was like it a, a Minecraft no, it was like plushie? A, it was like a big pink cube thing. Yeah, yeah. it was a Minecraft, yeah. Minecraft, Minecraft, was, Minecraft was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like a oh. creeper, but it looked like... Um, it looked like a sex toy. <laughs> it looked like Kirby if he was in Minecraft. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Vexel style. Hey. This is from Dooley. He says... Hey guys, just wondering, what are your thoughts about what happened to James Gunn? And what do you think will happen next now that people on the right side are using the same mob mentality outrage as the left on Twitter? Also, if Charlie's jokes being roasted by Dr. Tobias Finke Fun. doesn't make a podcast Hall of Fame, I'm suing someone. That's David Cross. Tobias Funk. Yeah, Tobias it's Funk. That's Finke. his character on Arrested Development. Yeah, oh, he spelt it wrong. No, that's how it's spelled, but no, it's pronounced like Funk. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's pronounced like Funke. It's that's pronoun- German. But it's, it's in umlaut. the show, it's pronounced Funk. Well, fuck them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I think James Gunn should not have been fired. I, I don't like that. I don't like the... Going I get the idea. Things. I get that, you know, oh, we're going to do to you what you did to us. Oh, so you, you know how... Do you like how it tastes? Yeah? Yeah, I get that meant. I, I, I agree. James Gunn himself had this, like, tweet where he said that... Eight if you make ago. if you make offensive jokes, you should be fired. So James Gunn himself thinks James Gunn should have been fired, but mm-hmm. I don't. But like the whole cast of his way. movies are petitioning to get him back. Everyone except Chris Pratt and um, why not Chris, Chris Pratt? Was, Chris Evans. I thought they both. Chris yeah. Evans. Yeah, Chris Evans and Chris Pratt. Why not? They were the only two that did not sign that petition to get him back. Why, why not? not? Chris Pratt did. Oh uh, yeah, he did. Well, fuck Chris, Chris Pratt on his own Twitter. He put that he was in support of Chris. Yeah, he definitely. Uh, well, well, James then Chris Evans. Who was the other one? Maybe I got it wrong. I know Chris yeah. Evans didn't. Maybe Tony Stark. Maybe it was oh. another Chris because they seem to have like fifty of them. I don't yeah. know. Chris Pratt definitely definitely did though. Yeah. But I don't like it. They're weird jokes. The whole. It's kind of weird how there's so many goddamn people in Hollywood where 10 years ago they all made yeah. the same joke where it's like, ha ha, wouldn't it be funny if I fucked babies? 
Wink, wink, notch, yeah. notch. Like Dan Harmon's was fucking weird. His, yeah. was, his was very weird. He took it it's far, weird. though. He went to yeah. Comic Con and fucked a baby on stage. It was a little much. They were just bad jokes. I wouldn't yeah, fire them baby. for it. I think it's ridiculous. I don't think anybody should be fired for fucking jokes. It's stupid. And yeah. what's the second joke? Charlie's joke being roasted by Dr. Tobias Funk. That's, that's something fun, that we've talked about. Yeah, that's something we've talked about. If anyone wants to edit all of the best moments in the podcast. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I don't send know it to us. It was, you when, David, it was when David Jackson. Cross, I told him the joke, oh, and he went okay. on for like five minutes about how yeah. shitty it is. So Jackson is out. So my last one is from Aaron Chambers. Didn't we meet Aaron? We met Aaron. We yeah. met Aaron as well. Yeah. Aaron's yeah. a sweet uh, one, as we could have expected. You guys should get sponsored by a great company called, say it with us at home, Robinhood.com. <laughs> they would be great. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you very much. This is from Anthony. Did you watch Shaolin Soccer that Sardonic has recommended? If so, what are your thoughts? If not, tell us about your thoughts on Martyrs. <laughs> I have not seen Shaolin Soccer, but I have seen some of the director's Clips. other movies. Yeah. Kung Fu uh, Hustle. Yeah. Uh, Martyrs was surprisingly super good. Like, I, really good. I have seen yeah. Shell and Soccer, and I think it's Stephen Chow trying to find himself. Like, his other movies are better, but Shell and Soccer is still entertaining. Yeah. So you, just, you didn't watch it two times speed, like I said? No. Jackson suggested I watch Martyrs at two oh, times Oh, is that the speed. movie? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that so was the movie. So Cast told you to watch, and you were yeah. like... It's going to be yeah. shitty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you were, yeah, it you wasn't. were ragging on it for a solid week. Yeah, it wasn't. Because I, it, background. I get it. It's got. It's like homework, man. We don't give people homework. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I had skimmed it before I watched it, and I skimmed to the most boring or most just like shock moment. So I thought, okay, it's just gonna be like a shitty shock movie. That's gonna be fun to watch, but mm-hmm. it was really good. Okay. It still was shot like ass. I, I stand by that. The movie was shot terribly. Mm-hmm. This is from Sergeant Dank Master Kush. We have landed in Hollywood. To begin the operation, as you requested, my operatives will begin to disguise themselves as up-and-coming actors to infiltrate child trafficking circles. And thanks to the wonders of Robin Hood... Who are not affiliated with this in any way. Thanks to the wonders of Robin Hood, we will be able to fund the operation completely in Litecoin (laughs) to preserve (laughs) our anonymity. I like that. Thanks, Robin Hood. <laughs> Who had nothing to do with that shout out at all. Robin Hood did not endorse that one. Not no, this, in any this way. Is fine. This is, no, Robin yeah. Hood is funding the resistance against pedophilia. Yeah, that'd That's be crazy. crazy. Yeah, thank you, Robin Hood. That'd be crazy to, de- to like decline that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Robin Hood. Charlie, you still got like three. Wait, wait, it's Jackson's. No, I'm out. Jackson ran out. Yeah, I'm out too. Okay, so oh, this is from okay. Raymond J. Johnson Jr. You can call me Ray, or you can call me Jay, or you can call me Johnny, or you can call me Sonny, or you can call me Ray J, or you can call me RJ, or you can call me RJJ, or you can call me RJJ Jr., but you doesn't has to call me Johnson. It's beautiful, Ray. Is that a song or something? He doesn't have to call him Johnson. <laughs> All right. It's uh, it's a King of the Hill reference. Yeah. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. I didn't know that. I need to watch more of that. It's a fantastic show. I know everything I've seen of it. It's is really so good. good. This is from Zyler Hermans. He says, "Get Robin Hood, or Bills will be robbing your manhood." Kaya is the best host. P.S. I actually use Robin Hood. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad he specified. <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. Yeah, Jackson right. manipulated the shit. I did not manipulate them. Jeez. No, everybody knows. I usually handle the Patreon, and I go, send us your shout-outs. Keep it short. That's it. Yeah. You yeah. went, like, send us your shout-outs, and also, these are our advertisers. Here's the ad reads, and it will be they really always, cool They always do Blue Apron. I thought they'd want to mix it up if they wanted to oh, yeah. <laughs> reference ads. I, I thought they would want to... Plug Robin Hood. Oh my god. This, this is, is from, fucking hell. We got two more. This is Bald Knees and Danderees. Hello, and welcome to the Wet Scale trademark. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Hunt, starring Mads Mikkelsen. 99% of the movie is not in English, and I couldn't find subtitles, so I didn't understand most of it. This one gets a 5% on the Wet Scale. Thanks. What? Have you guys watched okay. movies in other languages? <laughs> no, that's on you. What? That movie is great. 
Oh, have you seen this? Yeah, I love yeah, Mads yeah. Mikkelsen. The Hunt is great. The Hunt is about a guy who gets falsely accused by a child of pedophilia. Mm-hmm. Basically, the kid just accuses him of touching her because she wants attention or something. Okay. And then they, ju- they just... It's the saddest thing. I don't want to spoil it, but it is a good movie if you have subtitles. Okay, it's that's on you. On the moist meter, I would give it like 70, 75 at best, but it's still a good movie. So anyway, my completely unrelated point. Have you guys watched a movie you don't speak the language in without mm-hmm. subtitles? Yeah, once. Which one? Kung Fu movies. Yeah. I, I, mean, I didn't mean one time, I meant one genre. Mine, Kung mine, Fu mine was The Raid. Yeah, The Raid is the Raid. And what I, what I thought Kung was Fu great movies. was I watched The Raid without any subtitles, and then at the end I looked up the plot on Wikipedia and I had guessed the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah you get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The fists do the talking. This is exactly. the l- <laughs> this is the last one. This Love. is Shaka Lance. I've been pretty busy lately and haven't been able to listen to the episodes as soon as they come out. But I'm catching up. Keep up the great work. Love you guys. Thank you for shouting us out, Shaka Lance. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That was cute. Good shit. Thank Who you to you? everyone who sent shout. Yeah, thank, thank you to everyone. Whose Especially the ones with Robin Hood. Whose phone is this? That's mine. Should we sign off like every live video one with like breaking the phone? You know what I mean? Like a, like a Jimi Hendrix when he smashes the guitar. Sure. Give us your phone though. Oh, we can, yeah. Yeah. We can flip the table. Let's break. The camera. Yeah, yeah fuck, fuck it. it. Let's flip the table. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good. We, table. You need to have like hydraulics so that we sink into the floor at the end of the episode Ooh. like a villain. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Or it just tilts all the way. Yeah, back. we just yeah. sign off. Yeah. I was gonna say turn the lights off, but that happened. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's it was, not as cool. It wasn't dark enough. So either. we have to sign off. Jackson, you always sign us off, dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this video episode of the official podcast. Um, we all appreciate your patronage and. You, you watching thank you very much we, uh, Andrew yeah. we know that this was a video episode so thanks for watching the video but for future audio episodes if you could watch on an audio platform such as Spotify iTunes anywhere you get podcasts that would if you're, help us grow if you're looking at us right now that means you didn't listen to it on iTunes <laughs> and I'm very disappointed in you yeah. yeah how dare you help us help us but, grow go to a streaming service it helps a lot yeah this is still gonna be on audio we're using an experimental setup one microphone setup it, it might sound like ass we'll do our best to make it sound good mm. forgive us it was please. a lie we tricked you the whole time oh, there was oh, a- <gasps> the curtain came up shit it's the body not a microphone get, get, no. Jackson, get back. that was a good sign off yeah, yeah, yeah. bye bye bye